Last video I made, I was on an island. It was my birthday. It felt like I was at the peak of the year. But little did I know, that was actually the beginning of the biggest downfall of 2023. Man, your boy then got into his first car accident. Luckily, I won't have fault, but I ain't gonna lie, your boy then took a big L. Not just with the car, but anxiety now. All right, YouTube, a uh, quick update. Honestly, I don't know what's really going on. I'm just waiting, to, you know, I'm really just waiting to see, you know, what's the next steps into this, you know, moving forward. But at the end of the day, I'm alive, I'm straight, you know, I'm cool. I'm just this was a very unexpected car accident, but you know, it taught me a lesson. Life is a gift. Every day we wake up and every obstacle we get through is really God's grace. And it's him giving us another chance. It sounds like mad cliche, but that really made me look at life from a whole totally different perspective. Bro, very similar to how Kanye car accident made him go harder in life. So he's like, I'm about to hand you the world. Just know at any given time, I could take it away from you. So always keep me first. Yeah, I completely understand now. Every single day I wake up, I just want y'all to realize that y'all breathing for a reason. But hold up though. <laughs> That ain't all. It got even worse. Once I finally made it back home from Virginia, I was informed that things were occurring to happen at the place I lived at, and I only had two weeks to move out. Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. Man, it feel like when one thing go wrong in my life, it just becomes a domino effect. But on the brighter side, I just decided to spend that entire summer with my family instead because it really helped me get a whole lot off my mind. Being in the house for so long made me design the stressors of the year. I was literally planning my comeback step by step while at my lowest point in life. These sweatsuits went so viral, I mean, even fake pages were making fake website to sell them. Bruh. Forever Icy made the most money in a night ever before. Like, we literally made history with these sweatsuits. God was able to still give me hope of light in the darkness. So I trusted his plan. I just stayed down until it was time for me to come back up. Before I knew it, it started to feel like life was getting a little easier. All right, bet. so these are all international orders right here. Um, more. Oh, and yeah, I did get a new crib. God, bro. It's God, man. God. It's only God. You know what type of life you want to live? Get up and go live it. I'm turned all the way. I believe in me. Just believe in you. Let me do me. You like it? Cool. You don't? Fast forward. Going back to Gun Zero ain't always the worst thing. This time, just allow God to do it his way. And stop trying to do it your way. I ain't have better results. Oh yeah, and God bless you with a new car. I ain't gonna show it yet though. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Losing everything and regaining it all back from ground zero really make you appreciate the things you have way stronger. And not only I regained it all back, but I upgraded. That's how God works. Sometimes he take things away from us and we may not need it in our life anymore. But one thing I always know though, God always gonna come through and when he come through, he always gonna do his big one. So just trust the process. If you going through a trial, if you going through a season right now, just trust God's plan. Clearly he knows what he's doing and he just wants our attention. I lost my car, I lost my crib, and I even lost my business. But one thing I always know is God's timing is perfect timing. Yeah. If I'm consistent this year, I hope that motivates everybody else to be. Because supposedly, I'm the last person that's consistent. Dude, just record everything. Like, they record everything they do. That's why they get so much content like that. <laughs> no promises, but I'm out.